Shalom, shalom, shalom to you, the hopeful elect. All praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash. All praises, honor, glory to our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. His name is Yahweh and his only begotten son, our redeemer, the deliverer of Israel. His name is Yahweh Shai. Family, let's get into it. And to you, the hopeful elect, shalom to you. I hope uh, this message eh, comforts you. That's right. I hope you were edified. Family, this is the good news. This is the gospel of the kingdom to come. Yahweh Shai's kingdom. This kingdom, family, you can see it. The kingdom is falling apart. You know what that means? Yahweh Shai's kingdom is the one following. So we want to know who is getting salvation. So who is salvation for? Who did the Lord die for? Who did he came? Eh? When Yahweh sent his only begotten son to us, was it for, the, for everybody? Was it for the rest of the nation? No, it's only for Israel. Family, let's get into it. And family, when it's all said and done, I hope you edify. We're going to open up first. Isaiah prophesied about Yahweh Shai. His birth. He says, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Hmm? Unto us a son is given. And the government, the government, family is coming to establish his government. His, the government is going to be what shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. You wonder why we don't have peace on this earth? Because the prince, our power, Yahweh, hasn't sent his only begotten son, Yahweh, Shai, to rule yet. This kingdom, this heaven here, was given to Esau. Esau is the one ruling right now. And his kingdom is falling. That's right. It's coming to an end. And Yahweh, Shai's kingdom is about to rise. Family, Yahweh, Shai is coming to establish the righteous kingdom. But family, this is about who is salvation for who did the king die for let's open up let's go family the king's birth let's go to the book of luke chapter 21 let's start from um 25 luke 21 verse 25 it says here family and there shall be signs in the sun no 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 I'm, I'm, no that's luke 2 luke chapter 2 what am i doing Please bear with me, family. I get so excited about this word. It says here, Luke chapter 21. Did I say Luke 21 again? Luke chapter 2, family. Please forgive me. Luke chapter 2, verse 25. It says here. Let's read it. And behold... There was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just eh? and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. Consolation of Israel, family. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord, our Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. This is what the spirit family gave him. He says, you are not going to die until your eyes see the consolation for Israel. Family, the rest of the nation have nothing to do with salvation. Salvation is only for Israel, the 12th tribe of Jacob. There's no such thing as universal salvation. That's right. Universal salvation doesn't exist. We family, we're gonna prove it with the precepts. We all about the receipt, not the nonsense that they taught us in plantation Christianity. Family, that thing is over. That's why the Lord took us out of that place, that harlot houses. Family, that's what the Lord referred to the church. It is a harlot house. Family, we thank the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai for this gift. It's just here. Luke 2, chapter 2, Luke chapter 2, verse 26, it says, And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord. 
the anointed. It says here, and he came by the spirit into the temple. And when the parents, eh, Joseph and Mary, family, those are the parents, yes, brought the child. It goes to show you, family, Mary was not impregnated by an angel. F family, that's family that, 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 that makes zero sense. Joseph had sex with Mary. Yes. Because he says, our Redeemer was born what? under the law. Meaning what? He had to go through everything that was in the law. Because as a woman, when you have a child family, there's a time where you have to go through your purification. It's all in the Bible. So family, thank the Lord that he pulled us out of plantation Christianity. Let's continue. It says here. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord, the anointed. It says here, and he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child, Yahawashai, to do for him after the custom of the law. You hear that? The custom of the law. The law, that's the law Moses gave us. It says here, then took he him up in his arms and blessed the Most High Yahweh and said, Lord, now settest thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes, listen to what Simeon said. He says here, for mine eyes have seen the salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Who is the lost people? Israel. We are going to be light for the Gentile, the rest of the nations. Okay? Salvation is only for Israel. There's no certain as universal salvation. It doesn't exist. Let's get another account. Now, Yahweh grew up. Let's go to John. Let's go to John. Uh, is it John 4? Let's go to John 4 quickly. Mm -hmm. The book of John. John 4, the Samaritan woman. If I'm, even go, I'm going to go straight to the point. I have a few precepts that I don't want to I don't, I don't beat a, a dead horse. I just want to just hit the point and then we wrap it up. I don't want this thing to be long. John 4. Um, and this is Yahweh Shai talking to the, the lady at, at the well, the Samaritan woman. Okay? So let's pick it up from... Um, um, 19. Let's read a bit of 19. Let's pick it up from verse 19. John chapter 4 verse 19. It says here, The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceived that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worship in this mountain. Meaning what? In this town, in this country. And ye say, that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. This is the woman telling Yahweh Shai, having a conversation with our king. Listen to the answer. John 4, 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. Listen, this is, this is the king, Yahweh Shai, telling the woman. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Family, that's that simple. We know that the woman wasn't, uh, 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 he, wasn't he, he wasn't an Israelite. He was a Gentile. She is a Gentile. So why would the Lord tell him, because you, you know not what you worship for salvation? The new bodies, the new laws in our heart is for Israel only. The nations are going to serve us in the kingdom. That's what is coming. Salvation is only for Israel. Let's hit another precept. Let's go to John, actually Matthew. Let's go to Matthew first. Family, Matthew. From this year, how was I giving instruction to the, uh, the apostles? Here, let's go to Matthew 10, 5. I think, is it Matthew 10, 5? 
Here, Matthew 10, 5. Listen to this, family. This 12 Yahweh Sai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentile. This Gentile, this particular, in this context, referring to the rest of the nations. Okay? And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Don't go to those cities. Family, this is a direct order from the king. This is the, he was giving the 12 apostles instruction. This is not coming from, this is the word of our king, Yahweh Shai. But listen to this. It says here. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. How simple is that? He says, don't go to the Gentiles. Don't go anywhere. The lost sheep. The lost sheep. Because at one point, family, we didn't know who we were. We were lost. This is what the Lord is talking about. Family, the Lord has... Family, the spirit, the word is gathering the elect. Family, we are living in a beautiful time. But family, let's keep focus. It says here, But go rather to the lordship of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, Freely ye have received, freely give. That key, that's the key point. Freely ye have received and freely give. Look at what they've turned the church into right now. The church is a big business. Eh? The lonely, the poor, they, have, they fill those churches. The pastors are out there driving in the best cars. But the sheep, the flock that they're supposed to take care of, they don't care about them. It's all about prosperity gospel. But family, the Lord got something for them. Remember, the Most High is not mocked. Galatians 6, 7. It says, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. He said, be not deceived. Don't be deceived. The Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, is not mocked. He has given you his precious gift, which are his sheep. Eh? Look at the example that the good shepherd set for us. Yahweh Shai. He came lonely. He fed the poor. He raised the dead. He healed the sick. He didn't charge anybody. He forgave sins. Even sins that were so people were, they were supposed to stone to death. Look at that uh, woman, that young girl that was caught in adultery. No. They didn't stone her. Yeah, what shy he says? No. Woman, go that way. Where, 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 where are thou accusers? You know, when it's all said and done. He said, no. That's the spirit. That's, that's the king that we serve. The family, these pastors are proud. Family, boastful. Talking about the Lord said they should have a private jet and all this. But the Lord is going to deal with them. But family, let's focus. Let's, let, 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 let's, keep, let's, let's keep the lesson going. Like I said, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Family, so it's clear. He said, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Family, the kingdom is here. The kingdom is here. As you see this nation's family, their system, the third world war is at the door. Famine, plagues, everything is coming. At the same time, family, Buffalo right now, family, it's collapsing. Food shortages. America, family, infrastructures have been destroyed. Rumors of war, family, we are living in the last days. The kingdom of heaven, family, we can smell it. The king is coming in his glory. Salvation is only for Israel. But this time it's only going to be for the elect. The elect were picked before the foundation of the earth. There's nothing you can do about it. It is the Lord that picked his elect. That's right. And we are praying that we are the hopeful elect. Because family, we want that meal ticket. We're all working for that, that penny. Eh? That's the kingdom of heaven. We're all working towards that. 
that penny, everybody, family, this is the lack. We have to show that, yes, we deserve that kingdom, you know, family. That's what it's all about. You know, we don't want to be left behind. We don't want to be destroyed with this nuclear thermal missiles that are about to fly across the continent. We don't want that. We were about to go home. That's the good news. Hmm? We know that our power is not the author of confusion. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. No, he's not. He can't tell you one thing and then say, no, look at the wickedness these nations have done. Look at what they did to the northern tribe, the so-called uh, natives. Eh? The tribe of God and Reuben, when they came to North America. Look at how, family, look at how they got the land. The atrocity, the amount of people they killed, raped. The, trans the transatlantic slave trade. Because we know that the Lord gave us into your hand, but man, you show us no mercy. And now all of a sudden, you, the Lord, the Lord is about to bless you with salvation. Have you lost your mind? Where is that written? Family, the, the, our father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh he is not the author of confusion. It is clear who salvation is for. Let's hit the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 39. Let's go Acts 2. Is Acts 2 39? Yes, let's, let's read a bit of here. Yes, it's here. Here, this is it. Let's pick it up from 38. Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Apostle Peter speaks. He says here, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. But here, verse 39 says here, Acts chapter 2 verse 39 says, For the promise, listen to this, is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our power shall call. It's for you. Israelite. Hmm? It's for you, family. Acts chapter 5. Let's hit Acts chapter 5. And let's bring it home, family. Acts chapter 5. Let's pick it up from verse... Uh, where is that? Um... 29, is it 29? 29 to 35. Let's read a bit of this. Yeah, it says here. This is shortly after, I think, when, uh, when, when the apostles were preaching in Jerusalem and they were, uh, when the, uh, what is it called, uh, the Pharisees and all these leaders were against them. They locked Peter up and eventually have to re release Peter because family, there was chaos going on at that time. But here what happens. Uh, let's pick it up from Acts chapter two. Chapter 5, verse, um, verse 28. Is it 28? I said, Let's pick it up from 29. It said, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey. Because at one point they said, You couldn't preach the name of Yahweh Shai anymore. So, family, they were locking them up and they, were keep, they keep releasing them. But at one point, family, they brought them before council, before the leaders of, uh, of, 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 of the. Uh, of, of, uh, the leaders of, 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 of the nation of Israel. Okay? So here. So listen to this. Acts chapter 5 verse 28. It says, saying, did, did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? Which name are they referring to? Yahweh Shai. And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. That's right. At one point, family, not everybody believed in Yahweh Shai. They didn't believe that he was the son of our power, Yahweh. You see? So they were preaching that name, preaching that name to a point where family, they were being crucified. That's right. They were being beaten. Even Apostle Paul himself was part of it before the Lord calls him. And before the Lord opened his eyes. That's right. He was knocked off his horse and eventually he get it. But the Apostle Paul ended up writing the, most of these books. It goes to show you, family, it doesn't matter about your past, family. Because we know we are not perfect. Oh yeah, none of us are perfect, family. Right? 
We all have history, but the Lord is merciful. That's the thing. He, he's merciful. He's merciful. He said, your ways are not my ways. Your thoughts are not my thought. Oh, yeah, Apostle Paul was killing. I think he was there when Stephen was stoned. If, if my memory serves me right, yes. He was crucifying the followers of Yahweh Shai. But family, let's get it. It says here, Acts chapter, chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostle answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. You hear that? You see, so when they, were, they told them, Stop teaching in the name of Yahweh Shai. They said, No, 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 no. We are not doing, we are not stopping, family. The Yahweh Shai said, If you die in my name, he's going to raise us up first. That's what he, he, he said. And he's going to do it. Family, if it's, if it's written in this book here, it's going to be fulfilled. And we got to have the faith to believe. Family, it says, the just shall live by faith. He says here, Then Peter and the other apostles, Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Listen carefully, we're going to read it. We're going to read through. It says, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey our power rather than men. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. Who's the power of our forefathers? Yahweh. He raised up our Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Listen to this. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior to give repentance to Israel. You hear that? Repentance to Israel. Yahweh Shai came for Israel. End of story. He didn't come for this nation. Guess what? They're going to jump to John 3.16 and say that, oh, the Lord so loved the world. That word is what? It's cosmos. It's a, that word goes back into the Greek word cosmos, but it means arrangement. Eh? It's only for that. But family, in order to get that content, you have to read the, the first two verses. Eh? The first two verses of John 3.16. So start from 14 and you get it. The Lord doesn't love everybody. No. He made it clear. He says, I pray not for the world. We will bring that too. He says, I pray not for the world. It's in John. John, somewhere in John. He says, I pray not for the world. Let me, let me, um, and actually, let, let's finish this. Let, let's finish it. It says here, let's finish this. We'll get, we'll get back to that. It says, Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey our power rather than men. The power of our, far, our forefathers, sorry, our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for, a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. End of story. The Lord is only dealing with Israel. We are the one that he punished. We are the one that he gave into these nations to serve them. We were the one family in seven different captivities. That's right. Starting from Egypt, Syria, Babylon, Persia, Medes, Greek, Romans, the Roman Empire, and this is the last leg of the Roman Empire. That's right. Two different captivity. The Roman, they came back. They came. This is the last leg. America is modern day Rome 2.0. Seven different captivity. Seven means completion. This is it. He says, no more captivity for us. Now he's sending his son, Yahweh Shai, to come and gather his elect. Matthew 24, verse 29 down. Salvation is only for Israel. This is a family affair. This is a family affair, the 12th tribe of Jacob. Jacob's name will change to Israel. It's simple. It's that simple, family. But these devils like to complicate things. They like to bring everybody in. This is what the world, everybody, come, come as you are. No. The Lord is not dealing with everybody. He has a, an elect. That's right. He has an elect that he's dealing with and a large multitude. That's right. He's not dealing with everybody. These nations are going to build our kingdom on this planet Earth. That's what is coming for them. Slavery. That's right. Whether they like it or not. What if some don't believe? 
Romans chapter 3 verse 3. It doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. It is going to happen. As long as it's written in this book here, it is going to happen. All praises to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, for not forgetting Israel. Family, the Lord was sent to redeem those that were under the law. The laws were given to Israelites when we left Egypt. The law didn't make a covenant with anybody. Eh? Let's bring it out. Galatians 4.4. 4. Let's bring it out. Galatians 4. Straight to the point. Family, we're going to hit it and then we're going to move on. It says, But when the fullness of the time was come, our power sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, eh? under the law, to redeem them that were under the law. You ask yourself, who were under the law? The Israelites. The law didn't give, the law, the law were not given to any other nation. It says to redeem them that were under the law. So you ask yourself, family, this is simple. Who were under the law? The Israelites. And guess what? They're going to say, there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek and the Gentiles and make us. No, no, no. We know what. We, even now, at one point we were Gentiles. You know why? Because we followed this nation. That didn't mean that we were not Israelites. We became Gentiles. It was during the Greek captivity. That's when we really went off. Family, that, uh, that account is in the book of um, Maccabees. First Maccabees 1, 43 down. Read it. It will tell you. When we decided to become family, we stopped circumcising our, 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 our children. Family, we started eating pork. We started worshipping all these different idols. That's how we became Gentile. That's why Apostle Paul, in his writing, he says there was no difference between the Greek and the Jew. Why did he say that? Because they both Israelite. One just decided to follow the other nations eh? and their customs. So they became filthy and they became Gentiles. Eh? But the, the moment we turned back family, it doesn't matter. We are the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But this is what the Christians will use. That, oh, they said there's no difference between the Jews and the Gentiles and the Greek and the pure confusion. The book says what? Our power, Yahweh, is not the utter of confusion. No, 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 no. No, there's no gray area. It's black and white. There's no, he would let, he open your eyes and you can see it. The family, these people here, they have, the, they say what? They are deaf other. They stop, they stuff their ears so they refuse. But that's okay. At this point, family, we don't care what they think anymore. This is for the elect. This is for our people. The elect of Israel. This, this, this is what this message is for. Not everybody's going to be saved, family. Your mother, your father, your sister, your wife, your husband might not make it. It's the truth. Family, this truth, there's a, there's a sweetness to this truth and there's a bitterness to this truth. We want everybody to save in our family. But family, I'm not the one making the pick. It's the Lord. Yahweh Bahacham, Yahweh Shai. That's why it says what? Everybody has to work on their own salvation with what? Fear and trembling. We don't know that we are safe. When you, make, when, when you are up in those chariots, yes, you are safe. But until then, nobody is safe. But we put on us the elect. We're doing everything to give us the chance. But the Lord, salvation is only for the Israelites. That is clear. We have proven the point to save those that were under the law, to redeem Galatians 4. Let's read that again. Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth his son. Who is the son? Yahweh Shai, our king. Eh? To do what? To redeem them that were under the law. The laws were given to the Israelites when we left Egypt. Moses went and grabbed the law and gave it to us that we might receive the adoption of sons. Family, it's that simple. It's that simple. Eh? That's what Jeremiah is. And then uh, let's go to Isaiah. Family, the laws were given to us to separate us from these nations. The Lord loves us. 
And it was supposed to keep us holy. But guess what? We couldn't keep the law. That's why he sent his only begotten son eh? to bring us back. Because we agree. We agree to the contract. But guess what? We couldn't keep our side of the contract. So the Lord sent Yahweh to come and give us the grace and the liberty that we have now. That don't mean that we don't keep the law. We do the best. We do our best. We, don't, we know that we, if you can f- stop eating pork, you eat pork. Nobody's putting a, a, a knife to your head to eat pork. No. These are the things that we do to show our faith, to our power, Yahweh Hashem. We stop following the, the nations and their, their custom, their Christmas and their Easter's and all these wicked holidays. We don't do that anymore. To show our faith. Because we t- we're supposed to be a new man. We do our best. Family, we still live. We live in this flesh. Sometimes we're going to go off. But when we go off, Yahweh Shai covers us. That's what the blood is for. That's what the blood is for. Eh? Yahweh Shai covers us. You know? But we don't continue to sin and sin and sin because we say Yahweh Shai covers us. So we continue to sin and sin and sin. No, man. No. That was a precious blood, man. We don't take it lightly. We are not perfect. And we ask for forgiveness every day. That's right. Every day. But anyhow, family, let's continue. He says, um, let's hit a couple of precepts. So family, I've proved the point. The laws were given to us. Actually, you know what? Let's hit Deuteronomy chapter 4. And then we'll close up. We, well, 31 minutes. Oh, it's not bad. Deuteronomy chapter. Let's go to Deuteronomy 4. And let's, let's hear this, family. This is how the Lord, this is the love the Lord gave us. Eh? Listen to Deuteronomy chapter 4. Let's pick it up from verse 7. For what nation, actually no, let's see. Um, there. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 7. For what nation is there so great, who the most high, so nigh unto them as Yahweh, our power is in all things that we call upon him for. That's the question. Which nation? Fine, we are the only nation that can call upon Yahweh. This is the rest of the nation they can. The name of Yahweh family, it puts fear in them. But listen to this verse, verse, uh, verse 8. And what nation is there so great that have statues and judgment so righteous as all this law, which I said before you this day. Moses, family, the Lord gave us the law to us, to keep, to make us holy. Family, give us dietary laws, eh? moral laws, eh? civil laws, all these laws. In the book of Leviticus, the Trumi, family, Nam. Give us all these laws to do what? To separate us from this nation. To keep us holy. But guess what? That's why he called us stiff-necked people. We still decided to follow these nations and their gods and all their wickedness. And that's the state that we are in. That's why we are here today. In captivity. But the same Lord is about to redeem his remnant. Only few family. The first fruit who are going to be ruling in the kingdom with Yahweh Shai. And the rest that don't make it, they're going to be born into the kingdom. The spirit lives forever. They're going to come in new bodies. But they're going to be righteous right from the start. Because all Israel at the end, all Israel shall be saved. Even the ones that don't make it this time, they're going to be born into the kingdom. That's the good news. That's the good news. It says here, the family, <laughs> we want to be the first fruit. It says here, uh, verse, uh, verse, verse 9, it says, Only take heed. Only take heed to thyself and keep the soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. This is what made us special, family. The laws, the statutes and commandments. This is what made us special. And the, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, came to redeem us. Those that were under the law, the Israelites. Family, this, this is simple. It makes sense. Salvation is not for everybody. 
the nations are going into slavery. After they had served their thousand years of slavery, pursuing the book of Revelation, I can't remember, is it Revelation, uh, is it Revelation 20? After they served their thousand years of slavery, then they're going to get their land back. They're going to be ruling over themselves, but they're going to be tributaries to us. Eh? They're going to go by our laws. The statutes, the commandments, the laws are going to be in our heart. It's going to be automatic. Eh? We're going to receive our new bodies. But then the rest of the nations, they're going to keep their, 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 their body. They're, going to keep, they, they're not going to change. But we're going to teach them the laws. How to live righteous. You see? And the earth is going to be, again, it's going to be like the Garden of Eden. Everything is coming together. And that's the good news. Hey? Family, let's, 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 uh, yeah, let's wrap this up. Let's wrap it, this up. This is uh, salvation. It's only for Israel. Let's, 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 let's wrap it up. Let's go to the book of, uh, you know what, let's hit Isaiah. Actually, let's hit Psalm. Let's hit Psalm 53. Let's go to Psalm quickly. Psalm, another, Psalm 53, another verse just popped in my spirit. Psalm 53, let's go to, is this 6? Yeah, Psalm 53, verse 6, it says here, listen to this. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when the Most High bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Eh? But family, I want to bring this out. I want to bring some, is it Psalm 147? Psalm, is it 147? Uh... Or Psalm 149. Is it Psalm 149? Yeah, Psalm 147. Sorry, what did I do here? Psalm 147. Let's read Psalm 147. It says here. Let's pick up Psalm 147, verse 5. It says, Great is our power, our Lord, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord Yahweh lifted up the meek. He casted the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our power. Who covereth the heaven with clouds and prepareth the rain for the earth? Who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains? He giveth to the beasts his food and to the young ravens which cry. He delighted not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord, the Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him. Listen to this. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In those that hope in his mercy. That's what we're hoping for family. That in the day of wrath, we're going to be lifted up into the chariot. It says, praise the Lord, Yahweh, O Jerusalem. Praise the power, O Zion. For he have strengthened the bars of thy gates. He have blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the finest of the wheat. Eh? He sendeth forth his commandment upon the earth. His, soul runneth, his, soul, his word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattered the whole frost like ashes. Verse hmm? Verse 19. Psalm 147, verse 9. He says, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Remember, the law statutes were given to Israel. Yahweh Shai came to redeem those that were under the law. So what? Israel. Okay? He showed his word unto Jacob, his statue and his judgment unto Israel. He, listen to this. This is the point. He have not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. That is Psalm 147 verse 20. The rest of the nation don't know the Lord. The Lord was not dealing with them. The Lord was only deal dealing with Israel. Salvation is only for Israel. And we're going to close with this. Isaiah. Is it Isaiah? Hmm.
Isaiah 45. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. I mean, this is it. We go, we're closing right here. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45, verse, uh, verse 4. Is it 4? For Jacob, listen to this. For Jacob, my servant's sake. And Israel, mine elect. <laughs> I mean, these are not my words. Listen to this. Isaiah 45, verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. Elect. What does that mean? I've selected you. You are the apple of my eye. Family, this is the name that we boast in. Eh? We boast in the name of our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hmm? It's beautiful. It says, For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee. So he says, he has surnamed us, family. The power of heaven, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He has surnamed us. You know how special you are? He didn't choose any other nations. He says he created 18 nations. But Israel is my portion. We're actually going to close with that. He says, I am. He says, yeah. I have. He says, I am the Lord. And there is none. No, no, no. It says here. For Jacob, my servant, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have said name thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I gather thee, though thou hast not known me. Family, you are the apple of the Lord's eyes. And you are about to receive a kingdom like no other. Eh? And like I said, I'm going to close with this. What time is it? 42 minutes? Let's go. Let's close with this, family. Yes. So like family, I've proven the point. I've made the point and uh, we're going to wrap this up. Salvation has been in my spirit lately for some reason. I don't know why people get so confused about this. The Lord is only dealing with his elect, first and foremost, but they have to be Israelite, okay? They are Israelite. He's not dealing with the rest of the nations, okay? It's all about Israel, the 12th tribe of Jacob. That's who salvation is for. This universal salvation doesn't exist, okay? The law, statutes, and commandments were given to the Israelite, and Yahweh Shai came. Simply, Yahweh Shai came to redeem those that were under the law. The nations, the nations didn't receive the law. So, family, let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus. Also known as Sirach, I think, is it 17? Is it 17? Uh, 17? Yes. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, 17, chapter 17, verse 17. It says, For in the division of the nations, okay, <laughs> the nations that the Lord Yahweh created of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. Eh? He gave them rulers, kings to rule over them. But listen to this. But Israel is the Lord's portion. So we, we answer to our power, Yahweh Bahashem. Let's continue. Whom, being his firstborn, remember he said he said name us in the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4. So he know us. That's why anytime we go off, bang, bang, bang. Seven times he sent you into captivity. You see? So he knows you. He watches you. Listen to, let's read it. Whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth hmm, with discipline. Because he said, whom a father loveth, he does what? He chastened. Because if, I mean, if you don't love your children and they're going off, you say, yeah, okay, well, whatever. But if you love them, you, you straighten them up. That's what the Lord did to us. Eh? Anytime we go off, bang. You know? A transatlantic slave trade, eh? you name them. Family, we've been, we've been everywhere. That's what a father does. To make sure that, yes, you know, you straighten up. Because if he leaves you, you become degenerate. You bring embarrassment to the family, which we did to our power. Until, until he brought his son. Even still, family, we're still not perfect. Man, you know what? Still have mercy on us, you know? Still have mercy on us. But here, whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline and giving him the light of his love, does not forsake him. 
Therefore, all their listen to this. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon what? Upon their ways. The Lord is watching you because you are the apple of his eyes continuously. Huh? It says here, verse 20, none of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him. You listen to this, it says, none of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. But the Lord being gracious and knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that what a father does? Sometimes you want to kill your kids. You know, they go off and they piss you off. And then you ask them not to do this and they continue to repeat the same thing over and over. Even though you've taken all their electronics, you've grounded them and they still go off. But you kill them? No. You still. They piss you off. You know, Dad, I'm sorry, whatever. You still forgive them, you know. They go off again. You discipline them and they come back. They apologize for family. That's how the Lord sees us. That's how the Lord sees us. We have, a, we have a power like no other. And salvation is coming for us. But now he's going to make everything right. The laws are going to be in our hearts. And that's what we, that's what family, we are praying for. It's going to be in our hearts. We're going to be renewed. We're going to have a new body. We're going to rule in righteousness under our king, our shy. And that's salvation. That's what is coming. That's the good news. So family, I hope you were edified. We're going to leave it there. 46 minutes. We're going to leave it there. And uh, yes, uh, we thank the Lord for this word. First and foremost, honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rukakodash, for putting this new song in our mouth, singing this new song, the kingdom of heaven. This is the song, family, the gospel of the kingdom. Yes, the Lord didn't forsake you. You are in the state that you are in because he punished you for going off, for not keeping his laws and statutes and commandments. Eh? But now, he's about to redeem his elect. He's about to redeem you. This is for the elect, family. This is for the elect. That's why family says, work on your own salvation with fear and trembling. Nobody is saved yet. When you are up in those chariots, and then you're looking down and you're seeing the destruction, that means you are saved. That means you are saved, and that's what is coming. But we pray that the Lord will give us the strength to endure to the end because our King Yahweh Shai said that he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And he's referring to the Israelites, not the rest of the nation. <laughs> they are going straight into slavery. You see how we self-slave? You see how we work on this plantation, 18-hour day, hang, tortured, raped, our, parents, our families separated. They are about to go through the same thing. But we, our kingdom, we're going to rule in righteousness. We are not going to be raping somebody's husband, raping somebody's wife, and you know what? No, no. That is, it's, I don't know, but the Lord says he's going to put his spirit in us to what? Something about his anger, to do according to what they did to us. So whatever the spirit the Lord is going to put in us, it's up to the Lord. I said, we know in part and we prophesied in part. With that family, I don't want this thing to belong. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rukwa, Kodash. And I hope you will edify, Shalom.